The all new Hoyt RX-8 is out now. You know, and this is easily, by far, the best carbon bow Hoyt's ever produced. You know, I had the opportunity this fall to do a lot of hunts with it, and I'm gonna tell you something. It surpassed all our expectations. He's dead. Look at that. They made the ultimate carbon hunting bow, period. There's no shock, it draws smooth. The new cam, everything about this bow is, well, I can tell you this. When Vicki and I had the shop, and we'd have thousands of archers come in a year, and the best thing to do is always just say, listen, here's some of the better bows, here's the midline bow, here's the lower end bows, whatever your budget is, the reality is, is shoot it. You be the judge. And that's all I'm going to tell you about the Hoyt RX-8 is go to your local pro shop, get it in your hand, and shoot it. And get the checkbook out. You know, and all I could safely say is this bow is truly incredible. You know, each year there's improvements, but this year there's a lot of improvements to this bow design. Let's compare to the previous RX series models. One of the first things you know, that we've got to look at on the RX-8 is the new limb design. Hoyt actually made the limb wider and even shorter than ever. Doing so has made the RX more stable when drawback and holding for a shot. Another benefit to this redesign is that it is even quieter than before. This year, Hoyt also improved their cam design with the HBX Exact Cam. The let off is adjustable to either 75, 80, or 85%. Now get ready for this one because the wall can also be set for either a hard or an extra hard wall stop. The beauty of this design is that it allows an amazing custom shot experience for each individual archer. With the combination of the RX new limb design and the improved cam, Hoyt has made their quietest carbon bow ever. It's even so quiet <laughs> that we don't need any more limb shocks or riser shocks anymore. That alone is pretty incredible. Just a quick note about the cam. You know, I want to point out this little piece right here. It's called the little bumper that keeps your cam elevated off the ground when using the quick stands. So in other words, your cam and your, cape, your strings are not sitting in the dirt on the rocks or in brush. Speaking of quick stands, Hoyt redesigned their carbon ghost sticks as well. There is more adjustability to the stand, plus you can adjust the legs to even come in now if you're gonna go from ground blind to tree stands or spot and stalk. You put all this together on the RX-8 and then you add the custom Hoyt accessories, the super light two-piece quiver. Here's the big thing about this, look at that. When I got my arrows in here, I put it here, look how low profile. Now, why is it so important to have low profile? One, keeping the mass weight closer to center of the riser is way better. You know, otherwise you can start adding out your other weights coming out here to balance your bow. When you keep this tight, not only is it balanced better, but also it's way easier to get through the bush and the brush and all of that, swinging in a ground blind, you know, in a tree stand, or, you know, spotting and stalking. Keeping everything on the interior of your exterior line of your bow stuff, what a smart move. Then you go to the Altarest Integrate. This system here, everything is compact. Everything is custom fitted. You know, then you got the Picatinny mount here on the riser for some of the sight setups. I mean, all in all, everything that you're looking at is just trying to keep the archer, all of us bow hunters, way more advanced keeping it quieter, keeping it smoother, keeping it more accessible and easier to hunt with. You know, and for Hoyt to always introduce new colors and you know, most of the time, you, you, like I'll get a solid color bow and I still camo it because, well, I'm a bow hunter, that's what we do. When I open this up and you know, the guys at Hoyt, Jeremy and everyone were like, nah, we're not gonna tell you, just wait till you see it. When I pulled it out of the box and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's called Tombstone. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not touching this bow. I'm not adding any colors. I'm not adding any camouflage. This bow is incredible. It's the, well, it's the baddest looking Hoyt I've ever had in my hands.
Thank you, Hoyt.